and all of Southern Arizona. This is KGON 9 on your side at 5. With this latest cold snap, there are plenty of water woes out there, mainly frozen pipes. Check out this parking lot near Speedway and Swan. A sprinkler system pipe burst, sending water gushing into the parking lot. Tucson Fire was on the scene to mop things up, and they tell us this was one of several calls with gushing water. Water pipes are also bursting in people's homes, leaving hundreds of people with a big mess to clean up. From city buildings to businesses and residents, it seems no one is in the clear when it comes to this cold. Not on your sides, Jessica Chapin continues team coverage. That's right, uh, more than 1,000 people are still without running water after city water systems froze up overnight, and even more have their own plumbing problems with broken pipes spewing water into their homes. It's a situation that can usually be avoided. A rude awakening for Tucson residents. More than 2,000 without water. Many more with burst pipes freezing as they spray their surroundings. It can make for a soggy start to the day. A lot of people wake up if they don't have water or water is slow, they'll leave, go to work, it starts to thaw out, water starts running in the home. And this is the line that's exposed back there. Steve Morgan works for Steamy Concepts. They had several calls before noon to come clean up the mess. Just let's confirm that it is, there is some moisture in there. It seems no one escaped the consequences of a late night cold snap, not even Tucson's own water provider. Our backflow protection device froze, so we have been out of water. I'm not even sure if it's been restored yet at this point. Tucson Water Representative Fernando Molina says it's the first time that's happened, and electronic equipment failures overnight left about four sections of the city high and dry. Could this have been prevented? I, I don't think that it's an issue of prevention. I think uh, our, our sites are designed to withstand the elements that we have here. Unfortunately, this is just much colder weather than we are used to. Electronic devices that control pumps froze for the first time ever. Molina says more than 90 workers are tackling the problems and protecting the electronics so it won't happen again. But with another freeze on the way, Morgan says people should prepare. Wrap any exposed pipes, turn the furthest faucet to a trickle, or make sure there's no water in the pipe to freeze it all. But you shut off the water for the time and let that line bleed so it's empty. Let that dry through the night and then you should have water once you turn it on in the morning. Now, according to Morgan, burst pipe problems can cost hundreds, even thousands of dollars to repair. If you do wake up tomorrow, turn on your water and nothing comes out, first check any exposed pipe for breaks or freezing. If it is broken, you will need to call a plumber. But if not, turn on a faucet inside and gradually warm the pipe with something like a hairdryer. If the ice is in that exposed section, it will melt and begin running again. I'm Jessica Chapin, KGA 9 on your side.